Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing healthy skillet cookie recipe made without maida, butter or refined sugar. Super healthy and tasty skillet cookies. So let's quickly dive into the recipe. To make skillet cookies, I'm using a 10 inch cast iron pan. Instead of the cast iron skillet, you can also use a baking tray like this lined with parchment paper. Into the skillet, I'm adding in a few drops of wood pressed coconut oil and I'm greasing the skillet. Make sure you grease the sides as well. So a lot of you are confused with the wood pressed oil. Wood pressed oil and cold pressed oils are the same. Another thing is wood pressed oils and virgin coconut oil has a very neutral flavor and taste. Hence it is ideal for baking. I'm chopping two handfuls of cashew nuts. With my knife, I'm just roughly chopping the cashew nuts. Instead of cashew nuts, you can use any nut of your choice like uh, peanuts, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, any nut which is available at hand. And once chopped, keep it aside. Next, I'm chopping 150 grams of dark chocolate. Instead of this, you can use one cup of dark chocolate chips. So I'm just roughly chopping the dark chocolate. And then chop into small pieces. And once the dark chocolate is roughly chopped, keep it aside. Into a large bowl, I'm adding in one cup of wood pressed coconut oil. Into this, I'm adding in two whole eggs. Add in one teaspoon vanilla essence. And with a handheld beater, I'm mixing this up. And once it is creamy and pale, I'm adding in one and a half cups of jaggery powder. So what I've done is I just crushed organic jaggery and added it into my measuring cup. And this is organic jaggery which does not contain any sand, dirt or dust particles. So I'm adding directly into this. Now instead of crushed jaggery, you can also use jaggery powder. I'm adding in one and a half cups of crushed jaggery. So it is one and a half cups of crushed jaggery. Instead of crushed jaggery, you can use jaggery powder or coconut sugar. Now I'm going to blend this again. And once blended, the jaggery is nicely mixed and incorporated into the batter. At this moment, I'm preheating my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Into this, I'm adding in three cups of Kapli wheat flour. Kapli wheat is an ancient variety of wheat grain, which has a very weak gluten molecule and is also rich in fiber. Kapli wheat is also known as MR wheat. Now, instead of Kapli wheat, you can also use ordinary whole wheat flour instead. I prefer to use Kapli wheat in my recipes as it has a very weak gluten molecule and it has many amazing health benefits. Please do check my videos on Kapli wheat to understand more. That is three cups of Kapli wheat and into this I'm adding in two fat pinches of pink Himalayan salt, half teaspoon baking soda, when you're using baking soda, make sure you use good quality baking soda. And with a spatula, I'm mixing this up. That is, I'm just mixing the flowers and then I'll be incorporating it into the batter. And then I'm just mixing it into the batter. And once mixed, I'm going to add in the chopped nuts and dark chocolate. Add in the nuts. 
am keeping aside some dark chocolate to sprinkle on top and with the spatula just mix this all up this is one of the easiest chocolate chip cookie recipe so once everything is nicely mixed I'm going to transfer it to my skillet and then spread the batter evenly sprinkle the remaining chopped dark chocolate over the batter and bake in the preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes remember that oven temperature varies with oven so please do keep an eye on it after 30 minutes and after 45 minutes the skillet cookie is nicely baked and is out of the oven you can see that the sides has slightly browned and the center is slightly soft to touch and that is the right time to remove it from the oven I'm going to allow it to cool down and then I'll slice and show you how it looks you can enjoy skillet cookies with a drizzle of chocolate sauce or with a scoop of ice cream I'll just slice and show you how it looks I just wanted to show you the texture of the skillet cookies. So this is how it looks after three days and it is not very crispy like normal uh, chocolate chip cookies. It is uh, somewhat in between like a cake and a rusk. So there is a bakery item here in Kerala known as cake rusk. This skillet cookie has the texture of a cake rusk and the best thing is it keeps good for about two weeks and it's easy to make as well. So guys do try these skillet cookies and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.